This is a demonstration of the Pacha model pivot tool. So we, here we have a model selected. We can move the pivot point of this model to the origin. We can move the pivot to the center of the object. We can move the pivot to a point. So let's find one of those. So that particular point, the pivot of the object has been moved to. We move the pivot point to the camera. So now the pivot is here. We can reload the model. Let's say the UVs or something have changed, but the old model and the new model have to be exactly the same for this to work. There can't be any changes. You can see the pivot has been maintained. If we change the scale of something, we can use the freeze transform button and these numbers will be at zero, but our pivot point will be maintained. So again, I'm going to move it to the center of the model. It does a centroid calculation. I can create a pivot locator, which you can see right here. Let me hide this one here so we can So it's inside the model here, so it's hidden. Let's just move this out of the way. So there's our locator. So let's say we want to move it so that the pivot point is at the nose. So go here. And then we hit move pivot point to locator. There it is. And you can also delete the pivot locator. If this, it uh, knows that there's a pivot locator by its name. You don't actually have to select it. So let's look at these here. So let's, we've got these two models. We've got a parent and we have a slave. So match models, but maintain pivots. So know that these are here. Now they're not going to line up exactly because we scaled them slightly differently. But if we look at this one, that one's got a pivot there, and this one has its pivots. So it maintains pivots here. Uh, snap child model to parent 3D model. So let's say that we want to snap this model here to the survey. So that'll be the parent. And this here will be the slave. Now when it snaps it, it will snap it to using the pivot point of the child. If we use snap child 3D model to parents 3D nor nearest vertex. So let's move our model away again. So it's going to find the closest vertex from this nose and it'll probably go to snap to this point here. Yep. So what it does is it measures the distance to all the different vertexes in this OBJ file and it finds the shortest distance and then it snaps the model to that particular closest vertex. And also there's a help file in this which is not populated in this example but it will be in the release version.